Hey everybody, we're just hanging out tonight. We're just playing on Erlingrat a little bit more, and we are doing some missions. Just getting some some of these easy <clears throat> fertilizing missions done. We did two or three of them where we borrowed the machine for one, and we're doing the same machine on multiple missions contracts and just you know we're not getting very much per mission but we are doing this to get some money because we are still really really early on in our play here and what we'd like to do is get going we did however through yesterday's or last time we played we were successful enough to get ourselves a little barn to store some of our equipment that we've gotten so far and a little mobile home to be able to have a save point. So that was the end of our first day and we ended our first day and immediately got some contracts the second day. Oh, this, this car is going haywire. But we're just hanging out and having some fun. This is going to be a slow start before we get going, but today I'd like to get some... See what easy missions we can get done. Easy contracts we can do. That contract is done. So let's get back on the road. And what's the next contract? So we can't complete this one because that's the one we got the machine from. So let's collect 17, 13, 12, and hopefully we'll get 11 too. Can I get 11? Accept contract, no. I don't have, I've, I have multiple setting for three contracts, but I can't get more than three. I wonder if I can update that, because getting multiple contracts and getting them all done at once is is very beneficial. Like here for 13 and 12, I can kind of go back over back and forth over both fields and get them done faster. But I might as well just do them one at a time. Fine. <laughs> That's the way the game wants me to play it. Let's get going relatively straight. Nope. I think I'm overlapping the edge a little bit too much, but it is what it is, no big deal. I found with this tractor specifically, this is a, uh, I think a New Holland T6, is that right? A T6. Um, and the, the, fur, the row safe or non-crop destruction wheels 
it tends to speed wobble using the mod that I'm using, which is unfortunate if I go too fast. So I got to keep it under 30 miles an hour or 30 kilometers an hour, which is fine. We're just hanging out. <clears throat> Let's see what we got for contracts while we're waiting. Oh, that's the shop. That's not what we wanted. We got contracts. We got two more fertilizing contracts. Plowing, I am not going to do. That's too much time. Cultivating, I would do if I had a cultivator. Ooh, these both come with very big cultivators. That one's not bad. That one's even bigger. I did just turn that off. Why is it not off? Let's look at these cultivating contracts. That one's five grand. Field 10. Field 25, let's look at the map. Field 25 is way over there. Field 10 is right here. Field 10 is not that bad. We've done field 10 before already. Um, I've never used that tracked John Deere. We might do that for both contracts. That'll get us up into the 50 grand range. I'd really like to get into the 75 grand range. Um, the mowing setup we have, which is the one I use frequently, contract at field 12 is finished. Good. Let's head over to field 12, collect, field 11, accept. So 11 and 13. I should just do these together. That's super easy. Um, I'd like to get a mower on both the front and the back. Or I'd like to save up enough to get the big coon mower. Uh, this is going to be a mowing map for sure. I like mowing. Don't get me wrong. Mowing is lots of fun. Um, Is that gonna catch the edge? No. Let's go over here a little bit. Not catching the edge yet. This version of the GPS I don't like. I like the actual GPS because you can move the lines. There we go. That's good. And we're just gonna go in here and go straight across both fields. Um, the mower I'd like to get is going to be this, and it's a mod only because it changes the color. So it's this green, it's the green crone, it's the big M M40. The downside is, is the base price is 380, which is a lot. The other mower, which is where mowing, mowing, mowers so stevie's is the same price as this one but stevie's also has the ability to get bigger engines and ability to get gps and change the color and we're gonna go for this as our color when we buy it but that's 383 we don't have 383 why am I on field 18? Oh. Okay, well, at least I'm not wasting the fertilizer. I spent too much time in the shop menu and went across the road and onto another field. But that big mower is a little bit out of 
out of our range and out of our price range. Um, so I'm not sure when we're gonna get that. I'd like to get it sooner than later because I feel like it's just gonna be a great move forward for us. And, but the number of contracts we have to do to get up to that amount of money is pretty, pretty intense. So I don't know what we're gonna do here. Uh, the collectibles on this map are not so great. I know the ones on the uh, on some of the other maps. There's either a lot of them or they're worth a lot. This one, they're only worth ten grand, ten grand a piece. I've already found two. Uh, we found that in the last episode, so can't really rely on the collectibles. And jumping up to three eighty in our profits. We're just doing missions. It's gonna take forever. So we'll see. We'll see. I am making like forty or to fifty thousand, sometimes more per day, just doing contracts. And as much as that means that I'm just doing contracts constantly. I am doing lots of different things and I'm doing um, lots of, I don't know, I'm to just get to play with lots of different vehicles. Wow, I got a follow from somebody. Um, XB1 Gamer, if you're in the stream, say hi and thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow. Oops. Turn around. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? Um, what can I call you while you're in the stream? Since you are new here, we are doing Erlingrat. In FS22, we are playing with a bunch of mods just to make things on streaming go a little bit more fun. As you can see, I'm currently fertilizing at 30 miles, 30 kilometers per hour. Um, but I've never played this map before. I'm a new player. I'm a new player to FS22. I've never played any of the other FS uh, farming simulators. So this is like my second map that I've started. Um, and I'm just having a ton of fun with it and I figure why not have some fun and share it with some people streaming? Wow, you're uh one you said it's 136. A Series X on the 12th and then this two days later. That sounds <laughs> like a plan. Yeah, this uh this game is uh honestly I was really surprised. Uh, I do have an Xbox as well, um, but this is been playing on PC. Um, and a lot of the games I really liked in the Xbox are driving games, you know, Forza and whatnot. Um, and I also like factory games, and this is kind of like right in the middle. Like, I'm driving a lot, but I'm driving tractors. But I'm also like building a farm and, and you know, all of the production chain kind of stuff that comes with a factory game. So it's kind of... I, stay, I stayed away from it for a little while, and I'm kind of bummed out that I did. I heard about FS19, never played it, but got into this, and I'm just having a blast. I don't have anything to compare it with, so I'm not sure I can give you a, a difference between the two, but this is just fun. This map looks beautiful. I know this is, from what I've heard, this was an FS... 19 map, but this is just a cool map. It looks beautiful. All the different machines and stuff are there, and as an aside, I'm also, like, I'm a software developer during the day. And so the fact that I can, on PC, go in and create my own mod... <laughs> so that I can play the game the way I want to play the game is just awesome. Like, so, I mean, I'm sitting here using 
like these are my own mod packs like i made those and i'm just modifying base game files so it's just xml it's not a big deal for me cuz i do that all the time but to be able to be able to do that and change how the game works to make it more fun for streaming or more fun for me um i think is just brilliant yeah you know i, I end up watching youtube videos all day too yeah let's see i gotta put these contracts in we gotta go 11 collect 13 is still active which one's 13 Oh, I bet I didn't like that I missed the top corner. You must be super excited to get that Xbox X, huh? I don't know. Um, I have some of those off, some of them on. Um, in my normal playthrough, I have, I think the only thing I have on is, I've left seasons on kind of across the board. Um, just because to me, the seasons changing is a lot of what makes this game. Um, so seasons is on for me, for sure. Um, though, as you can see, if you can see my screen, it's kind of glitching on the colors of the trees. See that kind of flashing orange? It gets bad sometimes, but better at others. Um, that's probably from seasons where the game can't really decide how to change the seasons. Um, this game actually has crop destruction on this playthrough. Um has crop destruction on just because, well, I think that's a little bit more realistic. And if I'm gonna be futzing the realism on other things, then I might as well have crop destruction on to be realistic for that part of it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I got this as an early birthday present to myself as well. So I hear you on that. Well, you know, honestly, the, the planting at a certain time part, I think is, it depends on, really, it depends on how much you want to plan, right? If you're like a, if you're a planner and you want the realism of growing things when they should be grown, not just growing them whenever you feel like it, then seasons for sure, totally. But if you just want to plant what you want to plant when you want to plant it, then seasons off might be more more fun. But that's the best part about this game is that, like other games are very prescriptive. You can only play it one way where this is very I knew I was going to get caught on that. This is very much very freeform based on how you set your settings or what machines you work or whether you use mods or not. You can make the game whatever you want it to be. So yeah, so this game is on... Um, I'm not going to be able to do it all moving. Hold on. This game is on... I believe it's one day seasons, and I'm setting my speed at 2x. Come on, scroll please. Thank you. So yeah, time scale is at 2x. Seasons are on. Days per month is 1. And... The other stuff that I have on, I have periodic plowing required, I have field stone on, and lime required on, I have weeds turned off. Yeah, did you see that um, they actually won uh, one of the Steam Awards for, like, a chill... They won a Steam Award for exactly that, for being a chill and relax kind of game, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but it also means that I get through the seasons faster and that I get through the 
until the harvesting faster. I may slow it down to maybe two days or four days um, once I get a little bit further along. Collect there, I'm gonna get dropped. Collect here, I'm gonna do this one. Borrow items, accept contract. Yeah, it is a lot of work, um, but I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I think this, the, the only one that I might, that I think I have turned off on my other playthrough is the stones. Um, and then the periodic plowing, I think, depends on how you look at it. If you are playing realistically with the plows that come in the game, then yes, periodic plowing is super annoying because your plow is only like three meters wide. It's a pain in the butt to control and it just takes forever. Like this field right here, I plowed in a contract and it took 45 minutes, like real life, 45 minutes. And it was just too much. <laughs> yeah, I got I got a bunch of friends who play, um, I have a bunch of friends who play either the trucking simulators or flight sim. I got two friends who are super into Microsoft flight sim, um, like to a point where they have like cockpit displays set up on their desks with all kinds of controls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hire a worker. Right now I'm not hiring workers because I'm trying to get some money to get some equipment. So this is the start from scratch mode. So I don't have anything. I don't have any equipment, barely. I'm starting from nothing. Uh, so I'm playing through it just to kind of get through it best I can. With plowing, I think if you get like a, they have a couple plows that are basically a cultivator, but it works like a plow. Those can make it bearable. Uh, what's my width? 8.4, that's right. And stuff like the GPS, or right now I'm using the vehicle control add-on, which allows me to let the game <laughs> keep in a straight line. <laughs> Oh, cool. I debated around Christmas time on whether or not to get a wheel with pedals or get a controller. And I ended up getting a controller, but in all honesty, I'm not really using it. I might return it and get the, the wheel. But the downside with the wheel is you kind of have to be set up in a location where, you know, you can leave something permanently set up. And that's just, okay, that's not backing up properly. That's not my setup, unfortunately. Um, I am when I'm streaming, but the rest of the time when I'm with the family or whatnot, I'm not, <clears throat> I don't have a predictable setup. This is running not on a desktop PC, but a laptop. So, on my desk that I work on. <laughs> but yeah, it's the crazy thing is the for the flight sim stuff especially, to see those huge rigs that they set up with all the screens and custom cockpits and stuff like that. One of my best friends built his own flight pedals. Like f triple axis flight pedals to mimic the flight pedals in, an air, in like a Cessna airplane or whatever. And he designed, 3D printed, and built the whole thing himself. Whoops, wrong button. Which I thought was pretty dang cool. Yeah, I was actually thinking the, the 920 because I can potentially use them on the Xbox also. 
uh, as I said, I do play a lot of driving games on the Xbox. So getting something that I can use for both might be worthwhile. That's very true. Train rigs? <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. This tractor is pretty fun. I like the tracks. I don't know if I like the John Deere colors, but I like the tracks. Yeah, I'm sure. That and also like DIY kit instructions for everyone to build their own, <laughs> right? Oh, it's gonna catch the tree. No, it didn't catch the tree, good job. The only downside, I think, the reason why I'm leaning towards getting a wheel is, whoops, right now I'm driving with a keyboard and the keyboard controls for this game are not good. Oh, I didn't actually, that's actually new information. I didn't know that. Oh, you're right. It doesn't have a PTO. Huh. No PTO on the front. That's good to know. I mean, we're... Yeah, I'm just uh, maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it, honestly. I'll keep trying with the controller, I guess. I wish I could like take my config from like SnowRunner <laughs> or something and put it into this game for the controls without having to manually set everything. The one thing that this game doesn't have, which drives me, I think, crazy is there's no, um, <laughs> there's no like progressive steering. Uh, so like if you're going fast, the steering is still just as twitchy as when you're going slow. And when you're going slow, like sometimes it's super twitchy, but like it works best when you're going, you know, 10 kilometers an hour, but too fast or too slow and it just, it. It's too twitchy, and unfortunately that drives me crazy. Six for in a lobby, and... Yes, you can cross-play with, with PC. I was on a New Year's uh, multiplayer servers was my first time playing multiplayer and they had limited it to 10 but it was on PC and we were playing with a bunch of people from both Xbox and PS5 and PC all together on one server um, which these days if you don't have a game with crossplay it kind of takes away from the game right back in the day crossplay was like not even back in the day, like a year or two ago, crossplay was like the newest thing, and now it's expected for everyone to have it. My only problem with the multiplayer was that the 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 way the game controls multiplayer is a little bit strange like your own your own your controls 
like how you drive and steer on multiplayer are affected by your latency. So if your latency is high, then it's very jerky to control instead of the other way around where your, your, your controls are local and the, how they update to the server is where the latency ha affects it, affects it, which is the way a lot of games work on this game. Unfortunately, that's not the, what they chose. So like I was trying to do like a, I was driving a tractor with a trailer on next to someone else who was harvesting, trying to collect out of his harvester. And it was a nightmare to try to get lined up just because the, I was at a 60 millisecond ping and he was not. So it wasn't, it was a little bit tough to play with a high ping. Ha, <laughs> awesome. I will, um, I'm hoping to be streaming tomorrow. It is Friday, so I'm, you know, hoping it's Friday. But yeah, I'm sure it does. But it was my first time playing multiplayer, so I'll take it. I'll take it with a cup of salt and hope it gets better. But either way, thanks for stopping in. I know it's super late where you are, but uh, thanks for stopping in and um, thank again. Thank you again for the follow. Have yourself a good night. Get some sleep. And I hope everything works out good for you getting your Xbox coming next week. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Again, thanks for stopping in. Overall, this is going pretty good. This, uh, this tractor, I like the tractor pretty much, pretty well. Cultivating with such a big attachment saves a ton of time. Yeah, you take care too. I really hope this attachment, uh, or this tractor, I would want this tractor to have a little bit more speed. Maybe not power, but at least a little bit more speed. It's a little slow for my tastes. Am I lowered down? Yeah, I am. With the cruise control and the <laughs> the GPS mod, I can basically be hands free <laughs> and still still driving, keeping a perfectly straight line. And honestly, my OCD would never let me drive in anything but a straight line. When I play other games, like uh, what was the last one I was playing that straight lines were a thing? Oh, uh, I was playing Satisfactory. And with Satisfactory, you know, you're building factories and you can build them however you want. But my obsessiveness with things being straight, <laughs> I would always make sure that like the grid tiles were exactly north, south, east, west. They couldn't be off kilter a little bit. They had to be exactly north, south, east, west. And I would like or two factories, everything had to be on the same grid or two, two factories had to line up perfectly. I would take down entire factories if things didn't line up. <laughs> and now, of course, finally in Satisfactory Update 5, they added in a global grid. I forget what key command you press to use it, but now you have a global grid, which makes things a lot better, especially for people like me.
Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> How far back do I have to go? Let's look at our map, see what this looks like. I always like looking at the map. I love the, the way the color coding stuff works. See? Seed bed. Nice. So it's cultivating and... It's cultivating... Yeah, it's plowing and cultivating it or something. No, subtle stubble tillage. It's going straight from stubble tillage. Is it stubble tillage or seed bed? Oh, it's stubble tillage. So I'm cultivating it and getting to stubble tillage. Okay. All right. Still trying to understand what all these implements mean and do. And all the words for that matter. Yes, I know I shouldn't leave it down, but I'm just doing a U-turn. Eleven twenty-five in the day on day two. Let's check the store. Is there any sales? We haven't checked the store. Oh, we got fat. Oh. I think this was in the sale yesterday. These are both great tractors. I don't need any of these. I would like the JCB that my favorite tractor, but that's that's later. The modded JCB that I like to use, which allows me to have a black JCB and not a yellow one. Hello. Is awesome, and we'll be getting one of those for sure. We might have an entire fleet of them for that matter. Though I did today just mod a um, the tracked version of the, which one did I do today? I did this one, this, which I think looks pretty cool. I love the, the top of the, the angle here, like the big wheel on the top and small on the bottom. This thing looks pretty dang cool, but I did an all black version of this one. It looks awesome. Though an all-black version of this John Deere would be pretty cool, too. One thing that I think is fun that this game built in, and I don't know if they did it on purpose, but I'm going to take it because I think it's super cool. I'm going to get that last little bit because I'm a perfectionist. Is that if you have vehicles that are in the store, the way the system works... Oops. No, I want. The way the store system works is that any vehicle that's in the store, including modded vehicles, can show up in the for sale section, which is pretty cool. So let's get a straight line somewhere and look. If we look, right, I have a bunch of vehicles here. Any of, the, any of these could show up in the sales section, which would be awesome. Let's go to 25. That was our next cultivating contract, right? Check our contracts. So we can't complete this because that's where we got the tractor. We'll go to this one, and then we'll go back to our own field, and we will do some mowing. We do have some more fields to mow, create some more silage, and it's coming up on the winter time, and the winter time is the best time to sell silage, so it'd be good to get some of that silage going. 
We did, even though we were starting from scratch, we did actually buy this farm right here. As you can see, the grass is half mowed. Where's 25? 25's up that way, isn't it? Let's see if this tractor can go up and over the hill. I'm just going through somebody's grass field, no big deal. Perfect, I'm going straight for 25. In these big grass pastures, if you're set up for doing like silage bales and stuff like that, I think, and that's gonna be my, one of the ways I play this game, I think that's gonna be a good way to play to make money. Whether that actually works or not is an entirely different question. Because I've never played this map, so I don't know. Um, wait, where's the straight line on this map? I think it's down here. Let's look. Yeah, it's the bottom edge. So if we line up with this bottom edge, We should be good. Perfect. Down. Cruise control. Yeah, there we go. So in case you're wondering, this is being done with the real speed mod, which allows me to basically go as fast as the tractor will go instead of this which is the like the normal speed for this tractor and this implement is 15 but if I turn on real speed it'll go up to 20 which is not that big of a jump if this tractor had a bigger engine and more speed I would be able to cultivate it 30 kilometers an hour which cuts your time in half if you're going from 15 to 30, it's gonna cut the amount of time you spend cultivating in half. And when you're streaming, while this is fun, it's also annoying to watch someone doing something at, at six miles an hour, <laughs> right? I've watched plenty of streams where someone is, you know, maybe mowing grass, Oops, gotta lower my implement. Or plowing, heck, one of my streams was my second stream here. I was plowing a field. It, it would have been at like, what, five, six kilometers an hour, but I was doing it at 15 kilometers an hour. So with that silly plow that I was using, which I'll never use again, I was able to get it done in half the time. That said, going at 17 miles an hour for something like this is still pretty dang slow. Come on. Remember why we're doing this. We're saving up for a big M. And to buy land. <laughs> Which do we do first? Do we buy land first or buy the big M first? And we are starting from scratch, so we could take out a loan. We do already have a little bit of a loan, I believe. Let's actually look so we can know. Whoa. Hold on there, Mr. Tractor. You can do a little bit of a better job driving a straight line. Or turning, for that matter. Got you. Let's look. What's our loan? We currently have a $200,000 loan. We haven't taken out anything else. As you can see, we're still in our... We just went to our first month. Today is September. We're starting to make some money in September. We haven't paid really any wages except for last night or something. We're paying 666 for loan interest every day. 
which means we should start paying down that loan or taking out more loans. <laughs> I really don't want to take out more loans, but if the right vehicle comes up in the sale, I will. Um, the right vehicle hasn't happened yet. I do like that Kloss tractor that was up there, but number one, it's not customizable. And number two, I don't think it's powerful enough. So what I'm looking for is a tractor that can run this. And this requires 240 horsepower to run it, which means this tractor would have to be a 240 horsepower tractor and it's only 235. I could upgrade it to the 870 and then that would be 163. That would be a pretty good tractor, but 163, I only have, It is a good deal, but not a good enough deal. Especially for a tractor that's not black. You'll see that about me and about the stuff that I choose to use. I'm gonna prefer the stuff that's black. Just a personal preference, no other reason than I like black cars. Black tractors look awesome. And that Kloss tractor, while I've never had it before, has no customizations. I like that EU. Well, let's think. If I got that tractor, if I got that tractor and the rear for the mower, then I would be able to do the fast mowing Right? But to do that, to do that, it would cost me, at a minimum, it would cost me 148. Oh, good. I almost pressed the wrong button. 148 plus. plus 55, so 200K. I only have 54. Is that worth it? I've never driven that Claus tractor, so I don't know if it's a good tractor or not. Do it, I'd have to almost double my loan. Hmm. Whoa. Hmm. All I have is grass right now, so. I wish you could have a shopping cart. <laughs> 55 for that. Plus, it's only 35% off. That's 60% off, but there's no better wheel. 
The fast track would actually be a better deal. The fast track is 364. So I'm gonna get enough from these two contracts to pay for the mower. And I'd have to take out a loan for the fast track, right? I love the fast track. I love the JCB with the all wheel steering for mowing the best. That's a deal. 348 horsepower, 70 kilometers an hour. That allows us to mow any, any speed we want. Hmm. Let's do that. Where's my loan? I have to borrow. Let's do that. 325. My contract is finished, but I will finish the field because I am nice. Before I return it, return this tractor. Let's see if there's any more of these cultivating missions. So I have a nice tractor. Let's check. No more cultivating. Sewing. Sewing are going to be quick. And that's another 30k. Do I want to do that? Mm. Nah. I feel like buying stuff and mowing. Let's go buy stuff. Oh, wait. First. Complete. Collect. Collect. All right. No one's here. Oh, well. Customize. GPS. Yes. Buy. Okay. And then go here. Mowers. Wait, do I already have the front mower? I think I do. Yep. Let's get the back mower. Do I have enough? I don't have enough. Do I have a wind rower? I don't. All right, we're already down this road. We're gonna have to go down it further. Whoops. All right. Let's go here, here, here. Bye. Ugh. That loan's gonna kick my butt, but that's okay. Yeah, hello. Vroom vroom. There we go. And then... Wait, what are we doing? We didn't get a license plate. That's not gonna cut it. Uh, let's repair it. Yes, I know. Customize license plate type. Uh, one, two, three. There. Color black, front and back. Okay. Customize, yes. All right. Whoop. There we go, new tractor. 
Does have the crab steering? It doesn't have crab steering. What? It doesn't have crab steering. Well, crab steering I don't care about. Hmm. Hmm. All right. This is just a. It's a. My first high power tractor. Let's just call it that. It's not the one I want. It's just, wait, I'm going the wrong direction, aren't I? But it is strong and it's fast and it's gonna get the job done. Let's see how many signs I can knock down. Sorry, little John Deere, you've been superseded. Boom. Now this. This is a mowing setup. Yes, we want those down. We want that. How well do you work on uneven ground? Not very well. But with this mower and that little attachment on the back, not only do I have enough power to keep going, I also don't have to windrow. Because it's putting it all into one swath for me. So when I come by with the baler, it'll be much easier. Let's see if we can go up the hill. Is this one strong enough to go up the hill? So the John Deere was not. Yes, it was. Uh-oh. 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 I think my game just crashed. <gasps> the game crashed. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't save. I didn't save. I should have saved after I bought the equipment, right? I don't want to do those contracts over again. Uh-oh. sucks. We are back where we started tonight. 
an hour ago. Where we still have like four fertilizing contracts to do. Ugh. Oh no, that stinks. Well, I don't even know what to say. I just lost an hour and a half. In all honesty, that's the first time I've had this game crash. Like a good hard crash like that, that's the first time. Wow, that sucks. Well, folks, I don't know what to say. I do not think I'm going to stick around, though. Or rather... I don't know if I'll stay on the stream. That's a big bummer. The question is, should I do everything the same?
Huh, that stinks. I will probably do all those contracts again off stream. That just stinks, stinks, stinks. I will do all of those contracts again, I guess. I'll stick on the stream till I get at least the fertilizing ones done. And then we'll go back to the cultivating one. Maybe we'll wait on getting the the mowers and just mow traditionally. We don't really have any big fields, so getting the big mower right now is kind of not really useful. That's a pain in the butt. So I guess moral of the story, save your game after you finish big contracts <laughs> or you make big purchases. Oi. Am I getting that last bit? Let's find out. Fertilized. I don't care if it needs plowing. I am getting the whole thing. That's all I need to know. Need 11 too. So complete this one, accept 11, turn around, do 11 and 13. Ugh, that's such a bummer. Contracts, accept, collect on 12, accept 11, we'll do 11 and 13 together. What a pain in the butt. Well, I guess what I'll do is I'll finish those other ones, redo everything that I did before off stream. And then aid Xbox One gamer. <laughs> uh, I'll finish those other contracts off off stream, redo what I did before. That um, big John Deere tractor was fun. I'll probably do that again. the map, how we're doing, we're doing fine.
Love this map. Looks so beautiful. Buying that fast track though makes me think that maybe maybe that's a sign that that wasn't the right decision. You know? We had to borrow what, 150k, 170k to be able to buy it and the extra mower and for what? We don't even have any big lands. Let's just stick with what we got for now. We'll mow the property we got. Um, maybe cut down some trees. Make some money through trees and forestry. I'll have to buy a chainsaw, but that's neither here nor there. Let's look at the map. Uh, nine. So on my property, I have that and that, and there are only five or six trees on my property. I think that's what I have. Let's look at the other map. after I turn around. Because we gotta keep moving. Let's look at the store map, farmland. We own this field and that field. We don't have anywhere to plant crops yet. This field is only 268. This one's 285. So do we want to do lawn mowing? Or do we want to do crops? I think we want to do lawn mowing. And this was like the same price I spent for the JCP. So I'll probably do this and then buy the big mower. And then do that. This feels a little repetitive. <laughs> Can't believe I crashed. Such a bummer. Yeah, let's buy the farmland first. What else we want to do? We want to do grass cutting and we want to do, I want to do cows. I want to do cows and milk. So we're going to need a field for food. No, cows need TMR.
Cows need TMR. That's grass. Oh, I need hay. So I need to grow barley or wheat. Let's enter those two contracts. 11, collect. 13, collect. Go to 7, accept. Yeah, I'm good. Well, we are going to a pretty boring stream right now because I am redoing contracts that I already did once. And now I'm doing them again to get back to the place I was half an hour ago when everything crashed. You better believe I'm going to be saving more often. But that's my question. Is my autosave off? I should have autosave on every 15 minutes. Ooh, that's something to look at. Autosave. Why is the autosave for making... Oh, it's off. That's why I lost an hour, because it was off. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Let's go drop off this fertilizer and fertilizer wagon. We got 6,000 liters of fertilizer. So the next time, maybe tomorrow, that we have fertilizing contracts, we will have enough fertilizer for those contracts. We'll do 53. That's not bad. I can't see the tractors that don't have a good, like, travel speed. 
I don't mind if they're not... They're slow when you're doing work, but... A travel speed of 30 miles an hour? That's annoying. 30 kilometers an hour? That's annoying. I don't get why they would give me a tractor with road destruction wheels and then a, a trailer with like the biggest wheels in the game <laughs> like the trailer's gonna kill the stuff more than the tractor would all right so we're gonna go over here see we got our pile of stuff over here that's i for unload yeah good nice and we're going to go into our contracts, and we're going to complete, collect, collect. And do we want to do this John Deere, or this John Deere? Oh, this one had a front weight too. I didn't even use the front weight. Borrow items. Subcontract. Total super strength. We're just gonna pile these over here. Get them out of the way. Put them up in the building bushes. At least we know we have enough fertilizer, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the one thing I hate doing this game, moving pallets. We will not be moving any pallets in this game. We will be auto-loading. While I'm here, let's bring this around to here. Sounds awesome, that's for sure. Let's change it up and do 25 first. Let's go to first person for you. We don't drive in first person enough. Look at those screens. Worst part is, is those screens down there look a lot like, <laughs> like an app, app you can get to control and course play and GPS and, but of course the game doesn't have any of that. And those little screens down there don't actually work. It would be pretty awesome if they did, but they don't. But I could see how being a farmer with those kind of screens and like all your stuff is right here. Doing your farming work wouldn't be such a bad job. It'd be kind of fun. All right, let's go here. unfold. We're seeing it unfold in our mirrors. Sweet. Clear our last line. Nope, that's not a good line. Let's get a better line. We need a better line like this, maybe like this. Mm. Sure. Let's look and see if we're doing our thing. We're doing our thing. We are doing our thing. We're good. Whoa, look at that console. That's so cool. Let's 
Look at all those buttons. And controls. That's so awesome. That joystick is great. That would make using like a front end loader super fun, I think. Default tractor page. Oh, the numbers on there are kind of work. Some of them do. So let's swing around. Oh, we didn't lift our tool. All right, we'll go down this line. We'll drop our tool. Make sure it's on. What's the number on the bottom? F142, that's my cruise control. F2 is how fast I'm going, 14.8. Really, <laughs> I've never really looked at these. It's 11.02, nice. Default tractor run page. Guidance page down there, there's the guidance thing, but that doesn't work. The only thing that works is your speed. Can I make it to the end? Nope. Okay, so now lift up, turn to the right. We have to climb up this little hill. Cool. Implements down, we're good. So cool, like goes with the ground. See my seat moving. Oh wait, why am I doing it at 15 miles an hour? I can go at 20 at least. Kilometers an hour, sorry, we're in Europe. Go a little bit faster, get this job done a little bit faster. That's funny. Field 24 right there. Is a grass field. And we're in like the Alps, where half the fields on the map are grass fields, or just like regular grass fields. And so that's an actual grass field. Yeah, we're down. There's actually two fields on this map, I think, that are grass. Three, one, five, and 24. What I'm really interested to check out is stuff that's down like on the south side of the map. Like those are not very expensive areas and there's a ton of grass. So if you have your thing set up for Mowing grass and silage. That looks like a ton of fun.
You know what I need to look into? Is it economically worthwhile to buy the BGA? I know it's a lot of money. Right. But because price, because of price fluctuations, you can't get rid of your silage all year round. But if you buy the GBGA, then it doesn't matter when you're getting rid of your silage. You're always going to be making money on methane. Right? Where's the help? Help. Special crops. Chaff and silage. We get slowed down because we're getting dragged by the implement. That's okay. Turn chaff into silage, resulting silage to pick up the front loader or um, little ramp things. Biogas planter for minute your own silage, not silo yet, blah, 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 blah. Seasonal farming. All right. Oh, let's slow down here. Going all over the place. Well, the one tractor I've ever been in was nowhere near as nice as this. This one's pretty cool. Oh, is even no Oh, it's the radio. Dome light. I wonder if this is actually what it looks like. <laughs> I mean, I bet it is. I mean, this game's supposed to be a simulator, so it's got to be pretty realistic. Wow, this thing corners pretty well. Well, one more contract to do, but my streaming time is up. We are gonna call it here. We're gonna finish off this row and then drive over to that next contract and I'll have to do that, the contract stuff off stream. That's such a bummer, we wasted so much time and all because my setting for autosave is off. If you're expecting autosave to be on, PSA, make sure your autosave is on. If that's what you want, you're going to need it on. Oh, look, we have rain coming too, soon, too. Hmm. Can I mow in the rain? I don't know. But either way, that's it going to be it for tonight. Thank you for everyone for watching. Uh, thanks especially out to Aid XB one Gamer. Uh, thanks for the fall. And I will be around again, hopefully again tomorrow night. It's going to be a Friday night, so I might sign off early and jump online early. Uh, sign off of work early and jump online a little bit earlier than normal and hopefully continue this tomorrow but that's going to be it for tonight i want to say thank you to everyone who's watching 
and watching the after stream when we post it up on YouTube. If you're over there on YouTube, check me out on Twitch. I am on Twitch, but uh, with the same name, Gaming Joy. And this has been Josh. My name's Josh. This is Gaming Joy, and we've had a ton of fun. Except for the crash, but we're still having fun anyways. But either ways, catch y'all later.